Welcome back to another Mobile Centrics Tips and Tricks. My name is Derek and today I'm going to be showing you a new product. It's small enough that it fits in my hand, but it may be a game changer for some of you. Let's get into the video. What we have here is the Quanli Infrared FireEye Thermal Camera. It comes with a USB Type-C connector, which means it's going to be for all of you Android users. It comes with a nice little pouch to store it safely, a microfiber cloth, a user's guide. It's so small, easily fits inside the pouch. Super compact, super neat. Nice and sleek little design. Isn't that cool? To set it up, I'm just gonna open up my camera. We're going to download our file. Now we can open it up. We can install the app and open it up. Now it says, please plug in the thermal camera to enable the OTG function. So here we've got our camera. And we've got it plugged in. And we'll click always. Okay. And there we go. You can see it's tracking the different temperature areas, which is kind of unique. It's going to definitely pick out a short out of the, you know, out of the components when it gets hot. That little cross will pop up right above it. And we also have this little slider bar, which will allow us to adjust and get rid of things that aren't between that range of temperatures. See, room temperature is no longer recorded here. You can see I'm about to cross over into room temperature, and now you can start to see stuff around the room. We can change the color grading, just black and white. Yeah, do whatever you want there. You can take pictures and record videos of what you're seeing. And here you can see Holding a logic board, get a nice clear image that will be able to de determine the component really quickly because a really good quality image on the screen there. And here's an example of how to troubleshoot and find a short on, um, on a motherboard. Grabbing my multimeter, run a couple tests here on the pins. Now I was getting a little bit of a high reading instead of 0.336, uh, I was getting 0.4. If we follow this battery line, holds us over here. So right now we are on PP Bat VCC, and that converts over into uh, VDD main. And that battery connector, when the battery's connected, it goes over into a charging IC like Tigris with its MOSFET. And in the circuit there, they attach themselves to a VDD main line. If we get a component that shorts out and connects to ground, and all of a sudden all the power that's on that line is going to start going there to ground. So everything from our battery that goes through the connector is going to go to the charging IC circuit and basically heat up that MOSFET. So we need to basically look for a component that's on uh, that VDD main line that we found a short, we can inject power here onto the data, data line. And when we do that, it'll light up the component with heat. All that voltage is gonna go to the component that's, that's shorted to ground, and it'll actually physically get hot. So we'll be able to see that on a thermal camera. It's right there. So you got this guy right here. I think it's this guy. I'm just gonna go ahead and push him off. Okay. And sure enough, we do have a short across. And do we have short, or is it gone? Ground and no more short. Now one of the only things that I wish that this would have would be a way to adjust the zoom or the lens on this because it has a preset height at where it likes to be, which isn't a bad thing if you're going to be using it and working under it, but it doesn't allow you to zoom in 
and get a little closer. However, it does have something that none of the other small cameras that I've seen have, which is the ability to select the temperature ranges that you want to isolate when you're working to troubleshoot an issue on a logic board. Now, because it does have a, a preset height, it will allow you to work on a larger logic board, say a MacBook logic board, where it will still work to help isolate a component on an iPhone logic board. And compared to the price of Saquon Lee's larger thermal cameras that are mounted on a, with a platform, you can't beat the price. And like always, there will be a link in the description for this product. You might find yourself troubleshooting a short where when you inject voltage through the battery connector, the first thing that lights up is say a MOSFET that happens to be in front of the line that is shorted. And so it'll light up, but that doesn't mean that the MOSFET is bad. It might mean that there's a short somewhere else. So being able to rule out that temperature range, you'll be able to isolate easier the component that might actually be bad that is causing the short, that is causing the MOSFET to light up like a Christmas tree. Having such a small, compact, useful tool that'll help you troubleshoot shorts on a logic board is pretty neat. Having the ability to select the temperature range does give it a step up above its competition. I just wish, and maybe this will happen, that Conley will make a macro lens to allow for this to have just a little bit more clarity and zoom on it but otherwise it's a phenomenal tool if you're looking to get a thermal camera and you're not looking to invest in one of the more expensive thermal cameras if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for any upcoming videos thanks a ton for watching we'll see you in the next video